welcome to review by DJSBRC. Today we have the one of the newest vehicles from Arma. It's the Arma Typhoon Groom. And this is the RTR version. Let's see what kind of options they give us uh, and what's on the box. You look at the main box here, it says the Typhoon Groom, a uh, small scale uh, all wheel drive electric race buggy. It is an RTR. High power Smart 2S LiPo included with the charger. If you go on the rest of the side here, it gives you a little bit of information inside the vehicle itself. Uh, quick release body mounts, basically saying no body clips. Uh, waterproof uh, SLT 2-in-1 25 amp ESC receiver combo. Uh, it does have a 25 mm high speed cooling fan to cool, I'm not sure if it cools the ESC or it cools the motor. Uh, yeah. Four-wheel drive transmission for maximum traction, strong composite chassis with ventilation for uh, optimum cooling fan. Tough wheels with tire package, high downforce wheel. Uh, all the X, all the screws are X's in it. It comes with a steel servo gears. Um, the center drive is still plastic, but the gears inside and the main spur is steel. That's one thing I do like. It does come in two colors. You have blue and you have red as your options. It comes with a 2.4 gig SLT2 channel transmitter with a 380 brush motor. It's a 28 turn motor. Uh, this is, this is cool. I'll talk about this soon, I, I saw. Uh, all metal gear servo, IC2 connectors, and like I said, a 1400 mAh 30C battery it comes with it, and a USB-C charger. Two years limited warranty, it's a smart tech, a 380 mega motor, metal gears, water resistant, and ready to run. Let's open this box and see what it looks like. You have your protector, your vehicle, put this aside. Let's see what's in the box. <coughs> Remote. Yeah. Accessory pack, put the rest aside. We do have our SLT2 transmitter. These remotes are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper but it doesn't feel too bad. It does have the uh, 50, 7,500% to limit the speed. The person is driving it uh, feels it's too fast or you feel it's too fast for your child. You can limit the speed in it. Then you have your steering, uh, steering if you want this to be right or this to be right or vice versa and left, you can flip it. Then you have your steering rate and your status light and your batteries goes here. Let's see what's in the bag. You have your charger, USB-C wire to IC2. One thing I do love what uh, Arma did, they gave you an adapter. For some reason the camera doesn't want to focus, but this adapter from USB uh, A, if I remember correctly, to USB C. Because not everybody has a computer or a charging block with USB C. Kudos to Irma on that one. So I'm give you some spacer for your shocks if you want to put a little bit more uh, load on them. Come with a set of batteries. Um, some kind of plastic card says groom, your model number on it, and uh, showcase and support on the back. The other thing too Arma did, normally any vehicles comes with a wrench of this, this kind here. If you've been in a hobby grade uh, RC for a while, you know this wrench. They do the job, but they're not the greatest. <laughs> Irma decided to come out with this. 
with a two mil at the end. Places to put spare screws, worst case scenario on both sides. Uh, they look threaded, uh, maybe not. They're not, no, okay, looks at first. But you can insert something if you ever need to have a little more leverage. And the other end, you have your seven mil nut. If you want to remove your wheel on it. That's one thing I do like, it is made like a screwdriver. You don't have normal Allen keys that are hard to grab and this is easier to grab and you just wrench on it. Nice. Let's take a look at the vehicle here itself. <clears throat> nice wheels. I like the, the way they're the design. They don't feel a lot of foam inside, but it's not a heavy machine. You have the downforce wing. That's similar to the 1.8 system. Underneath yourself, uh, chassis, plastic chassis. Don't just blast, just bash, blast. Something like that. Don't just bash, blast. Yeah. Um, the arms are plastic, upper and lower. The drive shafts are steel, that I do like. And like I said earlier, there's no body clips. If you go in the middle of the shock tower and push this down, you'll clip the front, pull on top a little bit, and pull forward, you'll remove it. It locks right here, and it's just a clip in the back. Let's take a look inside of the vehicle itself. Inside the vehicle, you have your 2-in-1 ESC speed control. Okay, with all your plugins for your servo. And this is for the, uh, the fan that cools the motor or the ESC. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't see any directions on it to tell me which side it's pulling or pushing. You do have your IC2s and your 1400 battery. That's IC2 here too. You have your brush motor with a heat sink. Not a lot of companies that put a heat sink on it. Arma decided to do it. Kudos to Arma for that one too. Uh, you have your steel servo gear, uh, uh, servo motor underneath the speed control itself. On and off switch on top. Besides that, there's not much more about this vehicle here. Uh, I do like the design of it. There's stuff that they did to the smaller vehicles that other companies don't do to that size of vehicles. Uh, even the spur gear is steel. The shaft gears in front are steel. Uh, a lot of companies that brought up the, some of these vehicles here did not do that. I'm not gonna mention any companies. Um, I'm not that kind of person to bring down companies, but they should maybe listen um, there's a lot of vehicles I saw the same size that were a pain to fix because you had to dismantle the complete vehicle A to Z. And what I'm seeing here, even let's say you need to access the center, four screws here, and you have, looks like you have five here. You can remove all this section and have access to the gears itself. Again, kudos on that one. Not tons of dismantling to be able to fix this vehicle. That I do like. That I do like. And let's see how easy to put this body back. Clip. Super easy. Do love that. You don't need to finick, uh, finick around the wheels, things like that. One push button, lift up, take out. Push in, boom, it locks. There you go. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget, to hit that, uh, that like button in the corner. It does help the channel. And subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate that very much. And continue watching near future videos of running of this vehicle here. And this vehicle here is my business partner. Uh, a lot, not a lot of you guys know this. Uh, in my YouTube channel, you pretty much only see me and hear me. 
I do have a business partner. That is his, 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 what? That's his vehicle. Uh, and he doesn't like to modify his vehicles a lot, but this one here, it won't stay stock. There's an upgrade that's sitting here. That's going to that's gonna come out and something else coming in. Um, it's going to be a little bit faster for sure. Really faster. <laughs> but look, uh, I'm looking forward to doing this uh, upgrade to this vehicle once we're ready. And there's a couple more vehicles coming very soon too. Uh, we'll have videos on that and running videos too. But I digress. Thank you for watching and don't forget again to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.